Today, I'm going to show you four different ways to sew FOE. What the heck is FOE? It's fold over elastic. And when are you going to use FOE? You're going to use it when you make lingerie, swimwear, anything that's stretchy, and it's great to finish the edge of that stretchy fabric. Let's check out this FOE before we start sewing it. On the outside of the elastic, you'll see that we have a little division in the center, and that's where the elastic is going to fold. And on the back of the elastic, it looks more matte than the outside. The outside is a little shinier. The first way I'm going to show you how to do this is real classic. We are going to sandwich the fabric inside of the elastic and zigzag it down. So I have my fabric laid in the center of the elastic with the wrong side of my elastic face up and the wrong side of my fabric at the center. We're gonna fold the elastic in half and then we're going to zigzag it down. I also have my decorative stitch foot on so that way the elastic's gonna glide really nice in the center of the foot. And I've set my zigzag stitch to be smaller than the width of the elastic. So when you start this, you wanna make sure that your stitch length isn't really short, otherwise it could get really bunchy and stretch out the fabric and the elastic. I have mine set to an eight millimeter length. And as I go, I stop, reposition my fabric to the center of the elastic and continue. And when I sew this, notice that I'm not stretching my fabric and I'm not stretching my elastic. And when you get to the end of your project, you can backstitch and cut. Now you're gonna notice you have this beautiful fold over elastic on both sides of your fabric and it still stretches beautifully. Next, we're going to use the overlock stitch on the sewing machine to sew down the elastic and we're gonna do it the same way we did the zigzag stitch. Now, why would you wanna use the overlock stitch over the zigzag stitch? Well, sometimes the fabric you're attaching the elastic to is going to act very different. So if the zigzag stitch isn't acting well for you, you're gonna wanna try this overlock stitch. I tried it out a few weeks ago and I loved it. So again, I have my fabric sandwiched at the center of my fold over elastic. I have my overlock stitch on and I have my stitch length set to 10 millimeters. As you continue to sew, just reline up your fabric in the center of your elastic. Back stitch at the end of your project. And you can see that this one lays nice and flat and it still stretches great. And you can see that it almost looks flatter than the one we did with the zigzag. So if we place those next to each other, you can see how they look different, but they act the same. This next method is great if you're having a hard time getting that fabric to stay in the center of your fold over elastic because we are going to do two rows of stitches, one at a time, making sure it is nice and secure and right where we want it. For this one, I have the elastic with the wrong side face up and I have the wrong side of the fabric down on top of the wrong side of the fold over elastic. So now what we're going to do is just stitch down one side, keeping the fabric at the center of the elastic. I have my zigzag stitch on and I have the length set to 9.5. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. So you can see that we have that first zigzag stitch in there and you can see it on the back as well. And now what we're going to do is fold over the other piece of the elastic and we're going to change our stitch length. Now I changed my stitch length to six because I want my zigzags to be a little bit closer together and my width is at four millimeters. This is gonna give us a nice even stitch all the way down our elastic. And since we already have that other stitch in there, this is just gonna guide beautifully down the edge of our fabric. Back stitch and cut. So on the front of your fabric, you have one zigzag stitch and on the back of your fabric, you're going to have two zigzag stitches, but you can't even really tell when you use matching thread. Last, we're going to use the twin needle to sew down this elastic. 
If you have a cover stitch machine, you can totally just use the cover stitch, but most people don't have a cover stitch machine. So your option is going to be the twin needle, but you might not be familiar with what a twin needle is. So let me show you one. So a twin needle literally has two needles in it. So there's one spot to put it in your machine and there's two needles at the bottom. You'll notice that I have two needles down here and I have them threaded with two different colors so that way it's easy for you to see, which means you're gonna need two spools of thread for this. So again, I'm going to have my elastic wrong side face up. We're gonna place the wrong side of the fabric right at the center of the elastic and we're going to fold it over. And again, if you're having trouble with it staying in the center, you can always do that zigzag stitch down the one side first. So let's line this up. Let's make sure we got our needles in the right position. Looking pretty good. And you can back stitch. I'm gonna make my stitch length a little longer. I'm gonna make it up to four millimeter. So you'll notice I have one needle at the left edge of my elastic and one needle at the right edge of my elastic. You can buy different widths of the twin needle. So double check and make sure you're getting a width of needle that's going to touch the right and the left edge of your elastic. And then it's very simple. You're just going to run it down the edge of your elastic. Back stitch at the end and cut. And you'll notice we have two straight stitches on the top here, a pink one and a yellow one, just like a cover stitch would have. And then if we turn it to the back, you're gonna notice that we have those threads that look like a cover stitch as well, crisscrossing over each other. And when we pull this, it still has really nice stretch. Isn't fold over elastic easy to sew? And it's so cool. Now you have more options to sewing your fold over elastic. And I would love to know which option you like best. So leave it down below in the comments. If you enjoyed learning about fold over elastic today, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Sewing Anastasia, and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. These videos are for you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to see what you've been sewing, so make sure you tag me in your sewing projects so that way I can reshare them with everyone else. And if you're in Chicago, come take a sewing class with me in my design studio right behind me. You can find information about those at SewingAnastasia.com. And if you're not in Chicago, no worries. We got that sewing academy coming. We are working hard on it, so it'll be out soon. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye.